how frustrated was tonight's effort coming after Sunday's where it seemed like you seemed like finally got some momentum going? You know, I thought, uh, I didn't think we came out ready to play, which was disappointing. Um, with, with that good a team and the way they play, they kind of smack you in the mouth and they try to bully you a little bit early. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I didn't think we were ready to play, and I think that showed. I mean, you know, that game was lost in the first eight or ten minutes. I thought we responded the second half, not giving up. I uh, took better care of the ball, turned them over a little bit. But, you know, when you dig yourself that big a hole against that good a team, it's it's about impossible to get out of it. You talked about their physicality, but also that press defense. Mm -hmm. if that kind of stifle you guys and wear your team out. All the time. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. You know, I mean, they, they, they run up and down those stairs at the pit. They run every day. Um, he's done an extremely good job of getting them to buy into that style of play. And they play really fast with really good pace, you know, and they turn the ball over more tonight than what they normally do. You know, normally they don't turn it over that much. Um, but, you know, they're they're tough to play against. They they know what they are, they know who they are, and they execute extremely well. After you guys kind of cut down on the turnovers, um, after those first eight minutes, it wasn't really the offense who was the problem, but the defense kind of struggled throughout. Yeah. What do you think the, the biggest problem there was? Oh, we just didn't keep it in front of us. I mean, you know, when you've, You've got to be able to guard the basketball and keep it in front of you and stay out of rotations. And you know when you're you're getting beat, the next guy's stepping up. And if we ain't, if we ain't helping the helper, they're dropping it for layups. You know something that we wanted to do was get them off the three, but they they played extremely well inside the three. I think in the first half they were maybe 15 to 16 from two or 16 to 17 from two, something like that. But um, you know they just they, they've got really good guards. Like I said, they know what they want, they know who they are, and they they execute that extremely well. No JD against tonight. Do you expect to have him back for the tournament? Um, that's something we'll, we'll we'll talk moving forward and kind of evaluate, uh, you know, as a staff and everybody with the administration. Jace's team obviously has talked a lot about wanting to make a little run in the mm -hmm. tournament. You've lost 11 of your last 12 now. Yep. How do you get this team where they need to be mentally to have that even be a possibility right now? Um, we talked about, you know, just keeping our heads up first and foremost, getting in the gym. You know, nobody's playing as well as they want to play. Uh, they've got 24-hour access to this gym. We'll be up here as much as they want us to be up here. If they need help, they ask, we'll be here. Um, you know, it's just getting out of your way mentally a little bit too, getting over that roadblock mentally, getting in the gym, clearing your head, getting shots up, working on your game, getting you feeling a little better about yourself, and then those shots start going. Is that maybe we're having a week off now could help? Yeah, I think it could. Um, I think it's really going to help us just kind of reset you know, help Prentice finish getting healthy, um, get everybody back to neutral a little bit, um, you know, concentrate on our academics, our appointments and stuff like that, knocking out everything we need to before we go on the road for the conference tournament and spring break.